Hello, welcome to Otis Place. It's good to have you here. If this is the first time I've seen me, hello, my name is Otabi. Thank you for stopping by my channel. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Thank you for all the love and support. Guys, I'm about to moisturize my hair. And this September makes it five years since I had my last relaxer. I'm going to share my journey so far with you while I moisturize my hair. I was about to moisturize my hair and I said, why not do it on screen? and talk about your journey so far five years after your last relaxer if that's something you're interested in keep watching so before i start let me just show you what i'm doing with my hair i just want to re-moisturize re my hair this is some aloe vera juice i'm going to be using a mega growth daily living strength now if this is a staple in my hair care even when i was relaxed it was a point where i started using it when i was relaxed and i've not stopped even as i'm natural i use it with some other ones um, i'm going to use my homemade hair butter to seal it this is so good i made it with a shea butter mango butter some oils and some essential oils i think i've shown you how to do this on the channel and i'm also going to be using my homemade hair growth oil to oil my scalp so in september of 2018 i had my last relaxer and i had stretched this relaxer for i think six months i think i've talked about this on the channel before I had stretched this relaxer for six months because I wanted to transition to natural hair. When it got to the six month mark, I just, I don't know what happened. I just couldn't handle the two textures anymore. And I just asked one of my sisters to help me relax the hair. I was hoping that was going to be my last relaxer, but really I wasn't sure. I wanted to go natural. I wanted to transition, I wanted to, transition to natural hair but i wasn't i had not set a concrete date on when i was going to do that i was just going with the flow and i had the la at last relaxer september of 2018 it was at home i relaxed my hair at home when i did the big when i relaxed my hair like i said i didn't know that i didn't i, I was hoping that was going to be my last relaxer but Honestly guys, I wasn't sure. I transitioned after that relaxer, I transitioned for seven months. I'm going to use this now. I transitioned for seven good months. And in April of 2019, I did the big chop. <laughs> I was excited. Some of my some of my family members thought I had gone crazy. Some of my friends also didn't understand why I did it because to them my relaxed hair was healthy, my relaxed hair was good. So why did I want to waste my hair? Now, <laughs> this one has fallen back here. So to them my relaxed hair was good. My relaxed hair, I actually started learning how to take care of my hair when my hair was relaxed. I, I like two years or so before that big chop i had consciously started taking care of my relaxed hair and it had thrived it had grown really well it had done really well all the years of relaxer just two years made two or so years made a whole lot of difference so for people my hair had really grown so why did i want to mess it up by going natural but i just made the decision that day i have the video on the channel even my kids didn't like the way my hair was looking but i liked it i just liked the freedom that came with having natural hair now ah the natural hair came with its own challenges i'm not going to lie but there's something that usually happens to me when it was close to my there's something that happened to me when it's getting close to my relaxer date i have this anxiety i'm always you know uncertain would the relaxing process go smoothly i'm always anxious i have a very sensitive scalp and normally i don't keep relaxers in my hair for long 
but no matter how short I keep relaxers in my hair there are some times that I just get burned and I used to you know have anxiety over this would my hair get burned this time would it damage my hair this time and I was, especially when I learned how to take care of my relaxed hair I always had this anxiety are they, the relaxing process going to go well am I going to get burned this time will my hair get damaged will it be the same consistency all those things I just realized that with cutting my hair I didn't have to think about them anymore that was so freeing now taking care of my natural hair because in five years this is the length I've been able to retain I'm happy with it it's the hair is healthy the hair is thriving but I did not just let my natural hair you know just go just or I did not just leave my natural hair on its own like that it's not here let me try and unravel it I don't just leave my natural hair like that I was consciously making sure I retained length now before I went natural I was using essential oils when I went natural I just continued using them everything I was doing during my, my relaxed hair days I was still doing except the relaxer of course I was moisturizing my hair I was sealing the hair when it was relaxed so when I went natural I just made sure I did the same thing I didn't want to just switch up my routine so much guys I like a simple life I try as much as possible to lead a simple life so I don't like complicating things too much and I just said to myself if these things had worked with my relaxed hair I'll try them and see if they're going to work with my natural hair like this product I'm using to moisturize my natural hair I used it to moisturize my relaxed hair and I said instead of throwing what I have away let me just use it on my natural hair and see how it was going to work and it worked guys it worked very well for my natural hair and I've continued using it since then the same way I moisturized my hair when my hair was relaxed I moisturized my hair as my hair is natural and I have see, been seeing results with it I moisturize the hair I make sure I seal it with an oil or a butter I did that when I was relaxed I'm still doing it as I'm natural and I've been seeing results someone asked me <laughs> I think that was two weeks ago so if I've ever thought of you know relaxing my hair again and honestly that thought has never crossed my mind I don't know she was saying ah, you know natural hair can be very difficult to manage sometimes it gets so frustrating and I said maybe my hair has not just frustrated me enough because in all these years not once has it crossed my mind to relax my hair so let's just get out of the way I'm not going to relax my hair again I know it has been it's now becoming a trend on YouTube where people who have been natural for some years go back to relaxers for me I don't see that happening at all but hey <laughs> I don't see that happening anyway so I'm not going to go use a relaxer in my hair anytime soon I don't think ever but hey never say never right now I'm done with this side I just moisturize it I'm going to moisturize it all before sealing it all before applying the oil that's how I like to do my hair okay I'm done moisturizing let me oops <laughs> okay I'm done moisturizing now let me seal the hair while we continue our conversation guys i don't feel like i'm just rambling but i hope somebody is getting something from this this is my hair butter now I'm just going to use to seal the hair guys i would like to know in the comment section those of you watching how long have you been natural how has your natural hair journey been for me it has been an interesting one i've enjoyed it a lot so i'd like to know in the comment section just tell me how many years have you been natural or how many years ago did you have your last relaxer i think that's a better one and if you didn't if you've not had a relaxer at all then you can just let us know in the comment section i think that would be interesting to know 
so for me five years ago was when i had my last relaxer five years ago wow <laughs> so when i just steal the hair for those of you who are new to natural hair i use the moisturizer then i seal in that moisture with an oil or a butter in this case i'm using the butter that's just what i'll do then i'll go in with my hair growth oil Here, oh. and apply it to two more here. Just rub it in a bit. I need to keep my hair moisturized. For a while, for some days. <laughs> so guys, don't forget, let me know how long ago you had your last relaxer. And any other thing you would like me to do on the channel, let me know in the comment section. If there's any other content you would like to see on the channel, guys, let me know any other thing. Even if not related to hair care, let me just know. I'd just like to know your thoughts in the comment section. So leave the message in the comment section. Let me see. I'm done, done, done with my hair. This is my moisturizing routine most of the time. Guys, I hope this video has helped somebody somehow. I hope it has inspired you. If you're sitting on the fence, if you're thinking of transitioning to natural hair, by all means, go ahead with it if you're thinking of giving up on your natural hair journey guys just hold on a little bit more one more day just take it one day at a time it's not a complicated thing we're just the ones who like to make things difficult for us just make sure your hair is hydrated just make sure your hair is moisturized just make sure you seal in that moisture and when it comes to washing it make sure you wash your hair properly if you've watched up to now i'm not giving this video a thumbs up please give this video a thumbs up it helps my youtube channel grow if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Click on that notification bell by the side. Select the all options so that whenever I post videos, you will get them. Thank you so much for watching. Do have a blessed day. I'll see you next time. Bye.